name's Jeff. This is Rex. Rex is a six-year-old Australian Kelpie. Over here we have Hunter, and there's a four-year-old Border Collie. Now the Border Collie and the Kelpie are the two main breeds of dogs we use in Australia to round up sheep, cattle and goats. The reason we use these two main breeds is they have a natural instinct to herd animals together. Now without this natural instinct, you've got a fantastic pet, not such a great sheep dog. <laughs> what we're going to do for you today is exactly what we do on any farm, just on a slightly smaller scale. I'm going to get Hunter to go up and bring all those sheep right back here to me. Now this is the role of what we call a paddock dog or a mustering dog. They go out in those great big paddocks and bring all the sheep back to the farmer. And once he gets them there, we'll show you a couple of his directional commands. He knows the difference between his right and his left. Then we'll put the sheep through the gap in the fence under the water tank over the bridge back down near the yards. Now once we get them down to the yards, I'm going to let Rex off. I'm going to show you a different style of dog. These ones we call yard dogs, shed dogs or truck dogs. They keep the sheep up to the shearers. As soon as we finish the dog show, I'll get you to turn around. Terry's going to shear a sheep for you. Now the reason it's a slightly different role, yards to paddock. Out in the paddock, if the dog feels threatened by the sheep in any way, he's got a lot of room, he can get away. Once we get into the yards, it's a very confined space. There's a lot of animals in there. And some of these sheep can weigh up to three or four times as much as the dog. So you need a very big, strong, confident, loud dog. Now Rex is 26 kilos, he's, very, he's a big boy. He's very confident, and when I ask him to be very loud. A fully trained dog like these can control around 500 sheep on their own. And if you used to purchase a dog like this, it could cost up to 10,000 Australian dollars. That's a lot of money for one dog. They say they do the work of three men. If I have to employ three men to do their job, it could cost me $150,000 a year. <laughs> These guys never call in sick, and they're always sober. <laughs> you bet. Now we start training the dog at around three months old. It takes six to nine months to fully train them. So around their 12 to 15 months, fully trained, fully grown, and ready to start their working career. They'll work for us right through till they're 8, 10, possibly 12 years old, just depending on the dog. At which time then we just retire them back to the homestead. Yeah. Now we communicate the dog through whistles, voice commands and hand signals. They understand every command. As long as the sheep are doing the right thing, he will try and do everything I ask. Now these are our merino sheep, these are our wool sheep. It's one of these that Terry's going to shear for you very shortly. Now Hunter's in what we call a balanced position. He's balancing those sheep onto me. If we were out in the paddock, he'd be directly opposite me over the sheep, working backwards and forwards. But because of the fence line there, he knows the sheep can't get away that way. He doesn't have to block that side. All right, now let me show you these directional commands. Let's go to my left first. All right. I tricked him or he tricked me. I went the wrong way. <laughs> Put a little stop out there. Now he's probably too far away from the sheep. Bring him in a little bit closer. Come on, walk up. And now the other way. To my left this time. And stop again. So that where are you going? <laughs> They're just some of the basic commands we need to teach the dog so they can come out and help us move stock. Now we're going to take him out and put him through the obstacles. If he gets it right, please do give him a nice big clap. He does understand, then he's doing a good job.
Okay, here we go, straight through, very nicely done. This time under the water tank. Nicely done, he's doing a great job. So all we are doing is just trying to show you what we do on a farm, put him through a gateway, up a laneway. Now this time into the shearing shed or possibly even into the back of a truck. That's about 10 times that bloke's gone over that fence. <laughs> now, the, the lower fence there wasn't Hunter's fault. He got the sheep into that laneway, so we're not going to make him do that again. He got them all through, pretty much, anyway. So we'll bring Hunter down now. We'll finish the paddock work. We'll tie him up. We're going to let Rex off. We'll show you how a yard dog works these sheep. You ready, Rex? Righto. I reckon I know which sheep I'm going to shear tomorrow. <laughs> you drop twenty dollars somewhere, Rex. You look a bit sad. <laughs> okay, guys. Now you're going to notice the yard dog, and in particular, these kelpies will push the sheep a lot harder. If they're not going fast enough for him, he will bark at them to make them go quicker. Once we get them into the yards there, you're going to see them running over their backs to push them right up into the pen. Okay, folks, now that's how these yard dogs do it. They push the sheep right in, run right along their backs, drop down and come back through. And as they come back through, all the sheep move forward and that's how we fill up these pens, trucks or shearing sheds. Now, we wouldn't normally just sit on top of the sheep like that. He is there for photos. So if you'd like to come and grab a photo, please do. If you've got any questions, ask away. Don't go anywhere though. Give us a minute to get those photos and then Terry's going to shear that sheep for you. <laughs> 